All right, in 4STG here, we're doing a review of the new, new-ish Baofeng GT-3. Um, and I got a couple of these. So they're somewhat waterproof looking-ish in some areas of them. And in other areas of them, they are not waterproof looking at all. So we will uh, be testing that aspect of them. Um, the first test is going to be a little bit of rain. So I have my rain helper here. Hi! And she's ready to make it rain on our victim radio who has been marked with an X. Alright, let him have it. Alright, you're... Pulled this too hard. Pretty, pretty soaked. Oh, his screen still looks okay. Uh, we'll else? spray the back of him, I guess, this time. Hang on a second. All right, let me have some. Well, screen's still on. Let's see if it means anything. All right, test radio. Testing, testing, testing. You get anything out of it? Can you step over there? All right, <clears throat> it looks like we just had a little bit of operator error, and that's always the way it goes. Didn't have the uh, displays locked, so they moved off frequency. So the unit has passed its uh, initial test of getting rained on and is receiving as well as transmitting to the other radio. So it sounds a little goofy. I think there's some water in the hole here. We'll take a look. Does that sound any better? Oh, look at that. Came right back to life. Next test will be a, a slightly harder rain. Okay, resuming tests. This is going to be a uh, slightly more uh, impressive rainstorm. Right, Hi. rainstorm? All right, let it have it, Jess. Boom. Daddy, the internet doesn't work because there's a huge storm on the radio. Oh, why don't you spray a little, add him a little more. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Now give me a full frontal, like straight at him, even if it does knock him over. There you go. That'll surely that'll kill it if it's not water rated. Thud. <laughs> He's dead, Jim. <laughs> All right, push the wrong button there. All right, so here he is. He's been thoroughly soaked again, just like last time. It looks like the display has just died. Yeah, you're done, sweetie. Thanks. Uh, looks like the display is still functional. Blow out all the speaker holes. Yeah, let's test it. Can I test it? Yeah, absolutely. Hello. Back up and say test, test. Hello. Hello. All right, that looks like it's good. Let's see if it'll transmit. Get off the trigger there, Jess. Hello, 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 hello. Is it kind of muffled? Beautiful. <laughs> all right, lay it out so we can hear it. Point it away from your head. Beautiful. All right, hold the speaker out to us. Hello, 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 hello. Yep, so um, so far so good. We'll have a morning test uh, after I uh, do the final torture test here, and that is going to be actual submersion. <laughs> All right, N4STG back again. Well, a uh, little unit failed the torture test, at least that last one for sure. Um, we get some water up in the, between the display uh, and the and the LCD and looking at it after I uh, tore it apart here if you tear it apart you've got a little point where you've got uh, this part rotates up a little bit in the chassis and then needs to move to the rear be kind of cautious when that point or else you'll end up like me uh, with a little soldering to do anyway um, the point of entry my best guess is really the microphone and these buttons they um, they have some pressure on them uh, but not a whole lot from the rear. Uh, I guess you could probably get some more sealant on the front ends of those and do a better job. Or maybe if you could paint some kind of membrane on the front. Uh, but honestly, I'm going to call this one, uh, this is certainly not waterproof. I would consider this radio uh, water resistant, maybe rain, mostly rainproof. Um, the points up here on the top don't look like they have a whole lot of uh, ability to the connector for the LED looks like it's pretty solid it's a molded in piece it's gonna look like it heat welded in there uh, it ended up with water up in it but I think it sprayed up 
into the whole area from inside the front of the unit. Um, so anyways, uh, I don't, not sure any of these components on the top are super weather. Uh, the antenna uh, connector did the best of all of them. It's just because it's kind of a friction fit. Let's see where my antenna ran off to now. Um, but this is kind of a friction fit where the antenna goes. And uh, it did pretty good. That there wasn't any water in that area. Uh, so as near as I can tell, it's this membrane on the front here that uh, failed. And certainly the microphone hole goes, as you can see, straight through. Uh, with no impediment now, and we know that you know, on the, like on the cheaper units, the microphone is one of the Achilles heels. This looks like pretty much the same thing. In fact, I'm going to pop out my uh, um, UV5R I've taken apart and uh, compare them side by side. All right, and for STG again, uh, probably the last review until we bake the other one back out again and see if it can survive. Here I've got the um, 5R. Man, bad focus. There I got the uh, GT3 taken apart and the 5R that I'd taken apart before taken apart again. And you can see there's uh, there's not a whole lot of difference component level wise. Uh, some of the numbers are different as one would expect on a newer unit. The numbers went up. Um, some of the numbers they quote on the box uh, do match the chips that are in the new unit. So I guess that's a good sign. You're not, not trying to fool anybody with that stuff. Um, again, going over it, I think the big problem with not being weatherproof is going to be the hole for the microphone and we all know those microphones aren't that great so I think uh, one of the areas they need to probably consider upgrading is some way to get that microphone uh, exposed outside better uh, and, a, and a you know waterproof or, or weatherproof version um, send me any questions you got uh, I'll be glad to answer what I can uh, but until we get this one uh, <laughs> baked back out again. We won't know whether he's survived this uh, uh, bath or not. 73.